Hello, hello. How are you beautiful people doing? This is Robbie from the Israel Tel Aviv, uh, how do you say it? The water place in Israel and Tel Aviv. Uh, I'm coming to you today with a very, very important message that will change your life regarding marketing and sales and just getting yourself known and getting stuff done. So one of the biggest mistakes I've done uh, throughout my life was always thinking in terms of like one vertical way of uh, promoting myself or getting things done. So for example, let's say I wanted to open up a business and get some things done. I would always think like, what's one way to get people? Like maybe I can start calling people, maybe I can, um, you know, market on Facebook. I would always just pick one way and kind of stick to it and really limit myself. And if it wouldn't work, I would just try again and again and again. And it would be very, very limiting. So sometimes it would work, but even if it would work, I would still have this fear because, you know, one day it doesn't work because things change. So my biggest recommendation for you is to go broad, basically go on all levels. And this is something that I learned from Grant Cardone is that, you know, the biggest reason people don't buy from you is because they don't know you. They don't know who you are, you know, and the second biggest reason people don't buy from you is because they're not thinking about you. So maybe somebody knows that I do business consulting or that I help people with landing pages and marketing. That's cool. They know, they know it. But if, you don't, if you're not thinking about me when you actually need it, uh, you're not going to contact me because you're not going to think about me. You're going to go to somebody else. So really what you need to do is go broad on all spectrums. Just literally go all out. Just post Facebook on Instagram, uh, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Quora, just anywhere that you can think of. Any place where people can see your face, can see your input, see what you're thinking uh, would be amazing. And the social media, the way it works today is really a godsend because you're basically getting a free platform where you can post anything you want as long as it's not too you know, right, wing, right wing leaning. But anything other than that, you can post literally anything you want as much as you want and it's free. And really the only thing stopping you is how much you're interesting and how much interest you can create in people and how much how funny you are or emotionally stimulating you are and you can basically promote yourself to death and uh, this is in addition to the paid ways you know you can always set up uh, google adwords facebook ads youtube ads so my my suggestion for you is to really go all out just really kind of market yourself on all platforms and make sure that people always see you. Like you wanna create a situation where your nearest environment, they get overloaded with you. They're just like, oh my God, I see this guy everywhere. Like I go on Instagram, he's there. Facebook is there. YouTube is there. Like he's always there. He's emailing me, he's messaging me uh, because then you are, you're on people's minds. And what really, really matters is are you on people's minds when they need you? It's not if you're the best, no, the best quality, the best uh, price, the best service, what really matters is are you the best known because when people need something they usually go for the first thing they think about and i'm going to talk to you about a small tangent that relates to it and i call this basically the um the client from how you turn from just a regular client to a marketplace buyer so usually when somebody needs something let's say that i need a uh, you know, web design, and I never thought I needed it, but then I see like an ad for web design. Well, then I'll, I'll go to the landing page, I'll leave my details, talk to the salesperson, and if I need, you know, web design stuff, I'll, I'll probably buy. Like, I wouldn't look and compare prices, I would just go with the first person that contacted me. So there's a rule in sales that says 50% of the sales go to the first contact. So the first person that you know, hits that through that wall and just gets on the phone with you and gets into a situation to sell, that person will usually get 50% of the business. Now, let's say that I had a bad experience on the phone with you and I realize now that I need web design services because you kind of poked it and you poked that need in me, but, 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 like you, you know, you weren't the right salesperson for that, so I basically go to other people. Now, I'm gonna go into this marketplace kind of thinking like oh let's compare prices let's leave my price my contact information in multiple places let's get multiple offers 
So now I'm gonna be a picky buyer. But before that, I would just say yes, because you're the first person to contact me and I'm not really in that picky mood yet. So what you wanna do is, again, be on people's minds. And that was the pur purpose of the tangent. You wanna be on people's minds because when you're on their minds, you're gonna be the first person that they contact. And what that means is they're not gonna be picky yet. So if you catch people, like for example, let's say that you're a coach and people see you when they're in a directory of coaches where they can compare coaches, it's too late by now because by now they're in a marketplace kind of thinking. You wanna catch people off guard. You wanna catch them when they're, they don't even know that they need you yet. Only you know that. So be everywhere, be everywhere at the same time, get people to know you and then get people to think about you again and again and again. And when they need you, time will come, they will contact you. And because again, you're the first person to talk to them, they're not gonna be picky and it's gonna be very, very easy to make sales. It's very, very hard when you're entering into a market where people are already uh, looking to buy something because again, they're very, very picky and you have to like really compete on price or fight with other competitors. So get that first sale, get that first contact and life is gonna be very easy for you. But again, to do that, lots of people have to be thinking about you. I get calls every day from people are, that are like, Rob, oh, Robbie, I just, I thought about you, like I needed like, uh, you know, web design, I needed some business consulting, and you're just the first person I thought about, so I'm calling you. The minute I hear that, I know it's a surefire sale. Because as long as I don't fuck things up, this person contacted me, he wants my help. If I do a good job, he's gonna pay me, and I'm gonna, you know, be very rewarded for it. So, make sure you're on people's minds. That's how you get that security. And again, not through one way, but through like many, many different medias, because that way you have that security. So if something happens to your YouTube account, you're still getting lots of views and uh, attention from other places. So make sure you do that and life is gonna be amazing for you, no matter what business you have, okay? Get known, get, get people to know you, get people to think about you. Remember, the biggest companies and the biggest people in the world, everybody thinks about them all the time. Everybody knows Amazon, Coca-Cola, Google, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates. Everybody knows these people and that's why they're so successful. That's at least a big reason for it. So I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you. Talk soon.